everyone, this is me, Jyotika Bedi, founder of Happiness is Love, here for you, very, very excited to make a video on self-love revolution. We all use this word very, very liberally today. But what does self-love really mean? What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it really mean to each one of us? So today, I am very, very charged to make this video for you. I hope it helps one and all understand what this word truly implies. And as you know, we are a support group for parents, for professionals, for teachers, for teenagers, for everyone to come together, connect, create more happiness and joy. And this is our mission because we believe together we are stronger. Hashtag together we will win. So let me just tell you a little bit about what love, self-love really means to me. I truly believe that all love springs from self-love and self-care. There is a reason why the word self is used in self-care, self-love, self-respect, self-worth, self-efficacy, because it's really our responsibility to build ourselves up. So for me, really, self-love is building a life that you love, believing in yourself, believing in your life goals, choosing the people you spend your time with, honoring your space, setting healthy boundaries, telling yourself, I am enough, and making your happiness and your well-being a priority. And most important, learning skills, building habits that will serve you and your relationships. So a little bit about why at Happiness is Love we thought of starting the self-love revolution because the word is so misunderstood and we all somewhere believe that self-love really is being narcissistic. However, that is not true. Self-love is very, very important for our lives. It influences us in terms of the partner that we pick, the image that we want to project at work, and how to cope with problems in our everyday lives. It is so important for our well-being that I cannot underscore it enough. So what is self-love? It is something you obtain not through beauty, a makeover, or new set of clothes. Can you get more of it by reading something inspirational? Or can you, through a new relationship, by loving yourself more? The answer to all these questions really is a big no. Although they feel good and is gratifying, however, self-love requires different kind of understanding. Self-love is not simply a state of just feeling good. It is a state of appreciating oneself that grows from action, daily actions that support your physical, your psychological, your mental and spiritual growth. Self-love is dynamic. It's a practice. It requires daily conscious effort and commitment and it's really a skill. I believe that we can all learn to love ourselves. We can learn to appreciate ourselves. We can learn to express ourselves better. When we act in ways that expand self-love, guess what happens? We expand our love circle. We begin to accept ourselves for who it is that we are and that's where the magic happens. You become more accepting and loving towards others. You start managing your weaknesses better. You then spend less energy in explaining your shortcomings. You have more compassion for yourself and for others because everyone is bearing a burden that we have no idea about. And your kindness is incomplete till the time you are included in it. So what are the seven step prescriptions for self-love? Number one, becoming mindful. This is so important. People who have more self-love tend to know what they think, how they feel, what they want and need 
and they express it openly, directly, clearly, honestly and respectfully. The respect word is very, very important because we all demand and command respect. But till the time I don't respect myself, I cannot respect another. So it really starts with you. People who practice self-love are mindful also of themselves. They invest time in self-knowledge. We take so many selfies, but we have such little self-knowledge. So it's very, very important to invest in your personal growth and development. Such people also act on what they need rather than just what they want. You love yourself when you can turn away from something that feels good and exciting to what you need to stay strong, centered and moving forward in your life. Instead, you can also buy, you also need to stay focused on what are those needs that are fundamental to you. And you need to turn away from behaviors and patterns that are troubling you. If you are stuck in the past and not able to move, you need to practice and prioritize more self-love. So often people ask me, how do you do it? It is my number one priority to practice good self-care because I know everything stems from that space. Being a mother of three kids, Married to the man of my dreams, having the most loving family and amazing network of friends and extended family is, is so important for my own emotional well-being for me to make this a priority. And you will see the magic. You will love yourself more when you take better care of your basic needs. And what are those basic needs? We all know it's not new knowledge from taking care of your sleep, which is really your health making sure you feed your mind mental protein. We exercise and train our bodies, but forget we have to even train our mind because good health and happiness really begins in your head. And come to think of it, what is life really? Life is about managing your head and helping others manage theirs. So the responsibility really is ours to make sure that we invest our time in healthy habits invest our times in building healthy skills that will help us achieve our goals. So make sure that you nourish yourself through simple activities and eating a nutritious diet which we all know but we don't realize why this is important because these little things have a big impact. Proper sleep, nutrition, exercising, reading, journaling, which we all just dismiss by saying, oh, it seems too simplistic, but guess what? This is your superpower. These simple things really are the most powerful things for you to have healthy social interactions and meaningful relationships. Next, setting boundaries. We use this word very liberally, setting boundaries, but have you really stopped? paused and asked ourselves, what does it really mean? In fact, I asked so many people, it's great that you are using this word, but what does it really mean? You will love yourself more when you set limits or learn to say no to things that deplete you of energy. I learned it the tough, tough way. I was a serial people pleaser, but then I realized that in order for me to learn and grow and expand as a human being, I need to learn this skill of saying no in the most respectful manner so that I honor my boundaries. I set limits. I can still be a kind person if I say, no, I'm so sorry, I can't do this right now. I'm feeling very tired. I will respond to this tomorrow. Or I disagree with what you're saying right now and this is my reason. Or I'm not okay with this and explaining yourself in the most calm, positive, polite way. Guess what? This is possible. And I am work and learn every day and so are you. So together we can build a future generation that practices and prioritizes more self-love. Make sure that you protect your energy. Your energy is your currency. I am challenging you to now take a moment and ask yourself, what does my energy really look like? What does it feel like? What does it taste like? Because again, you have to be the energy that you want to attract. So if you want to attract positive, happy, loving energy, guess what? You have to do the work of being that energy. So bring the right people in your life. 
the most important decision you will ever make in your life are the five people you spend your time with. So make sure that you choose that wisely. I love the fact that we all love to have many friends and some of us want to be popular and that's okay too. However, make sure that you have those two friends who will be there at 2 a.m. and that is enough. If you have just two friends who have your back, you are successful. And my suggestion to you is that if you have people around you who don't lift you higher, who don't believe in your life goals, who are not there to support you, you need to think again because you need to surround yourself with people who lift you higher, who believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. You have to remember that this is your tribe. Next, learn to forgive yourself. I work with so many people who struggle with forgiving themselves and others. We humans can be sometimes very hard on ourselves and we sometimes don't have the tools, we don't have the technique on how to practice forgiveness. We punish ourselves, we live in the past, we hold on to past hurt and we stop ourselves, we rob ourselves from peace of mind and from learning and growing to be our better selves. We have to accept our humanness, the fact that we are not perfect. We are all work and learn. The reason why I make these videos is because I love to share whatever I have learned and I am making mistakes and I fall and I fail, but I love to learn from my mistakes and share them so that together we can invest in collective evolution. So if you've made mistakes, it's okay. Let's normalize falling, failing, making mistakes learning from them and sharing our life lessons so that we can help our future generation be more self-aware and spiritually more awake. So let's live intentionally. You will accept and love yourself more whenever whatever is happening in your life you choose to speak to yourself positively. You live intentionally. You invest time in understanding what is the purpose of your life. And you need to do some self-work in order for you to think of those decisions in your life which are not serving you. And you will see that you will love yourself more when you set goals. And then when you accomplish that goals, it only boosts your self-confidence and self-esteem. So next, you would think that, you know, what are the seven ways that I can actually start practicing the art of self-love right away? Number one, nourish yourself. Like I said, food, sleep, moving your body is medicine. There is no cure except you starting to focus on yourself. And this requires commitment. This requires energy. This requires every single day practice because consistency is key for your success and happiness. So make sure that even though you have this knowledge of nourishing yourself, eating the right food, now you have the knowledge of why this is important because you cannot pour from an empty cup. And you notice the days you haven't slept well or not eaten well or not moved your body, you have the answer. You know exactly how it feels. We are more irritable, we are more agitated, we are impatient. So the best way to do yourself your favor is to invest. All you need to do is just invest that one hour or maybe less, just 5% of your day in doing things that will nourish your body, your mind and your soul. There is no excuse now for taking yourself out for a date. Once you start loving your own company and you invest in yourself, mind, body, balance, you will feel so liberated you will feel so empowered because you will then start to celebrate the little wins. And it's okay to not get this immediately. It's a practice. It takes three weeks to build a new habit. So I believe in you. I'm rooting for you. I'm sure if you set this out as a challenge for yourself, next three weeks you can achieve this. Please get back to us and connect with us and let us know how did it go for you. Go and take yourself out for a date. Start a gratitude journal. Happiness and health is impossible without gratitude. Gratitude rewires our brain and helps us focus our attention on things that we have rather than things that we lack. 
every night before I go to bed, I write three things, just three simple things that I'm grateful for. And one of the things that I consistently say is thank you. Besides family, health, all the love that encircles us. Thank you for the work that we do because we get so much energy, love, and encouragement from each one of you that it only makes us feel more stroked. So I am eternally grateful to each one of you for believing in us, for supporting us and being there for us. Make your body happy. Happy mind, happy body equals good health, happiness and success. All you need to do is just move. Whether you like running or yoga or whatever, swimming, dancing, I just lock myself in a room and I put on music and I dance as if nobody is watching. All you need to do is just move your body and you will notice the shift in your energy. Make sure you learn to express yourself. We have made a whole module and we do workshops on giving people the tools and techniques to be more communicative, to express yourself more clearly, openly, freely, respectfully, and honestly. Make sure you again build the skill. If you are someone who struggles with the words and you want to express yourself and communicate and share your feelings and your thoughts, but you struggle, you can sign up with us. We are here for you and we can handhold you and support you so that you can build this important skill. When you feel that you really want to, let's say, let go of something and you are struggling, if there's something in the moment that is bothering you, you need to address it. You need to acknowledge it. We are all taught to avoid and not confront painful situations or conversations. I'm here to tell you, it's okay to be vulnerable. Having that difficult conversation, starting something new, opening yourself to judgment and criticism takes courage. But I'm here to tell you that you will feel more self-assured once you begin to embrace your vulnerabilities and you will see how that helps you transfer, trans sorry, transform the way you love, lead and parent. Please go out there and write a loving letter to yourself. We are all such good critiques. We love to critique ourselves and others. Have we really paused and appreciated ourselves or patted ourselves on the back? No, we don't do that. Write a loving letter to yourself so that you focus on your strengths, your abilities, your uniqueness, your creative energies that need to be appreciated and acknowledged. And who better than you doing that? Give yourself that pep talk. Remind yourself of your dreams. Visualize that future of yours that is waiting for you to tap into. Celebrate your achievements and write that letter because this is a great reminder that you are on the right track of learning and growing. Make sure you shower yourself with feel good vibes. Like I said, you have to be the energy that you want to attract. So make sure that you do the self work of taking care of your basic physical, emotional, psychological needs so that you are more joyful, you are more peaceful, you are more calm and you feel more fulfilled. I hope this video was useful to one and all. I absolutely love sharing with each one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love, all the encouragement. And let's begin the self-love revolution because it really starts with you and me. And together we are stronger, together we will win.